Friday Night Lights. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Um. Slay. Uh. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Um. Uh. I say. I say a nay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Nay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay, it's super fun to watch uh, my friends play. Yeah, Slay. Slay or nay Friday Night Lights. Slay. Hey Hawks, it's Angelia. And Tayson. We hope you had a nice spring break. What did you do over spring break? I went fishing at Lopez Lake. What did you do? I just stood home with my little siblings. We have seven more weeks of school. This year is flying by. Make sure you stay on top of your work and get, keep your grades up. We have some great segments this week. Pop culture is going to talk about Coachella. Sports has a lot to talk about. The news will be discussing AI. Don't forget about those things that just don't make sense. We hope you have a good Friday. Stay, stay right, everyone. everyone. Hey Hawks, it's Andrew. And Caleb, and here's your news. On TikTok, people are starting to use AI voice generators to, mi to mimic celebrities such as Obama, Trump, Biden, and Drake. People have, used this people have used these generators to hold hostages faking their children's voices and pretending to be kidnapped. A Cal Poly alumni, Victor Glover, will pilot NASA's Artemis II mission around the moon. The three other astronauts will be in the Orion spacecraft going into the, into the vicinity of the moon for 10 days. 230 rare classic cars were found and some of the prices going up to a million dollars. Speaking of auctions, a supposedly highly important Chinese bowl was bought for $25 million. It was made in 1722 and depicts basically a bunch of birds and trees. And that's all for this week, Cox. $25 million? That's a lot. For a bowl? Hey Hawks, welcome back from break. And we all hope you had a great break. I'm Melissa. And I'm Michael. The week before school got out, there was a lot of sporting events. There was soccer, volleyball, and wrestling. It was both of the soccer teams and both of the volleyball teams that played last week. For soccer, on Tuesday, they both played Paulding. The girls had a score of 3-1. to one. And the boys had a score of 3-2. to two. Then the following Thursday, they played Laguna. The girls' team lost one to two, and the boys' team won five to nothing. Also, they played in the Rotary Tournament at Tally Fields. Even though neither of our teams placed, the girls got their first win, seven to zero. Great season to all of the soccer players. Now for the boys' volleyball, they had their championship week. The first game they had that week was Paulding. The eighth graders lost in two sets. Then after they played Judkins and they won their second set. And yeah. The seventh graders lost in three sets. Then the eighth graders also lost in three sets. After that, they had their championship. The seventh graders won second overall and the eighth graders made it to the top of the sixth. Once again, great season. For Little League Baseball, there was Friday Night Lights game last Friday, and the Red Sox and the Tigers played, and Tigers won 10-4. Here are Jaden and Bo to tell us about Little League. Um, who are we here with? Bo. And Jaden. Okay, what team do you play for? Uh, the Marlins. The Mets. What is your main position that you play? Shortstop. I, I'm a catcher. What is your favorite thing? Uh, fried burrito. It's when it's like super cold. You gotta get the hot chocolate. Just don't even drink it. Just hold it. Are Free hand warmers. Do you play for a club team? And if you do, what club team do you play for? Uh, yeah, I play for the Pomo Bulls. No, I don't, cause football is like right there, and you know, it sucks, cause I gotta can't do both. What's your favorite thing about Little League? Um, probably the snack bar. Um, I like like how there's. You, you gain so many relationships between players, coaches, even umpires. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. What is your goal for the rest of the season? To win a championship. 
I'd have to agree with him. And what is your favorite food and drink? Not in the second one. Um, probably Gatorade and French fries. Um, I like biscuits and gravy, and then the drink. I don't just whatever whatever you give me, just give me something. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Let's move on to NBA playoffs. Here's the NBA playoffs bracket. It's the first round of playoffs, and the champion in the com competition is already heating up. That's all we have for this week. Bye, Hawks. Hey, Hawks. It's Camila and Tossie with your pop culture segment. And today we're talking about Coachella and some of the performances from day two. Coachella is a music festival located in Coachella Valley in LA. Some of the performances on day two were Blackpink, Frank Ocean, and Caliucci's. Along with Bad Bunny, Beso Pluma, and Becky G. Have, have a, a good, good week, Hawks. Hawks. Introduce yourself and what do you teach? My name is Mr. Marks. I teach Math 7 and Intervention 7. Do you coach any sports? I coach boys volleyball, girls volleyball, and I'm going to help with track as well. Do you teach at any other schools after Mesa? Uh, after Mesa, I do not teach at any other schools. Um, I've taught at two schools before Mesa. How long have you been teaching? This is my fifth year teaching. Where did you teach before Mesa? Uh, last year I taught out in Paso Robles and before that I taught in Garden Grove which is in Orange County. What made you want to teach at Mesa? Um, Mesa, when I came here to do my interview, um, I really liked the culture. So the teachers that were there were very nice, they were very supportive. Um, and then when I visited, it just seemed like a really good place for me and a good fit for me. What elective do you teach? So I teach Intervention 7, which is a math support class. What do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to play volleyball, um, take my dogs for walks, uh, go hiking, play sports. What made you want to become a teacher? Um, uh, I've wanted to be a teacher since I was in high school. Um, I just really like helping uh, other students. I like learning, um, and I enjoy school. So. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class? Uh, my favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class is that he's really nice, and um, he lets me do whatever I want. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class? My favorite thing is that once you like finish your work, he'll give you Jolly Ranchers, and he's really funny. Thank you. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class? Oh, my favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class is that he gives us Jolly Ranchers. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class? I like how he gives us fun assignments instead of just like worksheets. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class? Uh, my, favorite, my favorite thing about Mr. Mark's class is his like fun assignments and stuff. It's Camila back with your things that don't make sense segment, and I'm Caleb. Uh, something doesn't make something that doesn't make sense is inner dialogue. I think it has to do with like the side of your brains. Like there's like the side that like makes decisions, like book smart decisions, like how this affects me in my future. And then there's the side that's like you gotta live life and have fun. So I think it's like the little de yeah, you know, like the like, devil like, and the angel. Why does thing? it have a little? Why does it have like a little like? Why does it have a different voice than you? Like it has a little voice. I think it's so. It's like. You're not thinking it yourself. Your brain's like tricking you into thinking so it's not yourself. And it's just like, so it's like an other informed decision. But it's I know, really but just yourself. Do you just hear one or two? Because I only hear one. I have uh, two. I got like the side that's like, yeah, this is not a good idea. We probably shouldn't do that. And it's like, the, yeah. what's the worst that happens? Honestly. I'll see this one more. I have more to the left. Uh, 
I think this one, the yeah. right. I know. Have both. a good week, Hawks.